automation, process optimization, digitalization. Three buzzwords we all know, but what's really behind them? Hello, and welcome to the Trotec Laser Live Web Session. I am Stephanie Pretzel, Product Marketing Manager at Trotec, and today we will show you how digital laser cutting can boost your productivity. For those who haven't yet the chance to meet us, we are a leading international manufacturer of laser machines. So first class laser solutions for engraving, marking and cutting, a wide range of engraving materials and unsurpassed services have made us the technology leader in the industry. In the industry. We are based in beautiful Upper Austria with sales offices in, se in 17 countries worldwide and we have been in the laser business for almost 30 years now. Our customers are in the field of personalization, education, traceability, manufacturing, and of course, in the graphics and print industry. And in today's live web session, we focus on the added value that digital laser cutting can generate for print applications. And the question is, what are the advantages of laser technology. From non-contact material processing, high productivity, best fit and repeat accuracy to high edge finishing quality. It is all covered within laser technology. And today we have three experts with us and they will tell you many more advantages of laser technology. With the special focus on market developments in the future. Our first expert is Mr. Michael Gastenauer, our product manager for our large format laser systems. His main focus is print and cut, and he will share his insights today and explain the benefits of large format laser cutting for, our, for signage and display. Then we have Mr. Alexander Kattner, our business development manager for print. He has years of experience in the print sector and today he is showing us a sneak preview of our new product, the GSL 1400 for digital label converting. Our third expert is Mr. Harald Holzner, our product manager for our laser engravers and cutters. And today he will show us um, the possibilities of business expansion through personalization and promotional items. So before we start with our first expert, we invite you to post your questions in the Q&A section. So ask us anything you want to know about laser cutting and laser engraving, and we will answer the questions at the end of the session. And now let's start with our first expert, Michael. So Michael, what are the challenges that players in the signage and display industry are facing? Thank you, Steffi. Uh, we see multiple uh, challenges and um, tasks for uh, signage and display companies. On the one hand, standard tasks have uh, been captured by web-based, very large print service providers with sophisticated logistics, order tracking, and very efficient operations. So if you have been you, uh, in this business with your standard signage and display, you uh, need to develop your business. So, and there are different ways how to develop your business from this point on. On the, a second aspect is the lack of skilled labor. Um, we have a challenging tasks. It's uh, always important to be on time with your orders and have an efficient workflow flow on your workshop. And it's important to have these processes under control and you need to have simple uh, guided processes in place to make you a reliable partner for your customers. And the th third challenge is new, pro new materials. Uh, end customers and global brands move to sustainable, um, products and advertising campaigns with a small ecological footprint. So people phase out PVC and look for lightweight, easy to handle 
um, and recyclable solutions. And do the Jotec laser finishing solutions address these issues? Definitely, in, in several aspects. On the one hand, laser cutting is very productive. You can achieve high throughput, uh, very short processing times, and it's a reliable process. So you can keep your deadlines, keep your workflow in the, on your shop flow, keep the orders flowing through your production. Um, we had customers uh, who were switching from a, a router to laser cutting, and they were able to increase their volume from 10 square meters to 1500 square meters because of the reliability and the productivity of the technology. They were able to keep up with very large um, print companies and be an effective player in this market. On the other hand, laser cutting gives you many possibilities for outstanding designs. You are no li not limited to your production technology in your design. For example, you can have very sharp corners, um, very detailed contours, and your finishing gets ready out right out of the machine. This makes outstanding products uh, possible, which stand out of the usual everyday signage and display offerings. And our machines can be easily integrated into workflows, both from data workflow as well as material workflow. Uh, this allows you to reduce your times between order input and delivery um, and makes you attractive to your end customers. And last but not least, uh, laser cutting works excellent on eco-friendly and new materials such as fiber-based materials or recycled uh, fiber boards. Um, so you are flexible and reliable compared to other technologies. Okay, thank you. And what about printed textiles? Printed textiles is, is a big new trend that we are seeing right now. Um, many industries change from um, standard printed um, to individually digitally printed textile and individual finishing after that print process. And laser cutting is a, an excellent choice of technology for cutting textiles. Uh, the typical applications are, for example, replacing PVC banners by soft signage on textiles, as well as uh, individually designed home textiles, uh, apparel, or other printed uh, materials. Compared to knife cutting, uh, the laser cutting is a non-contact process, and you do not tear on your fabric, you do not change it. Um, you have no tool wear and you have a really reliable process. So this is also a reason why we announce uh, within the Drupal our newest addition to the uh, portfolio of the SP series, the SP4000, which is a dedicated textile cutter for printed textile with a width up to 3.2 meters. And what makes Trotec stand out of the crowd? Uh, Trotec machines are built for industrial and commercial use. They are intended uh, for our customers to be profitable and earn money and keep their deadlines and be very productive. So on the one hand, we build machines like this, but as an organization, we support our customers as, as well from early feasibilities through qualification, installation and training and the entire life cycle of a laser machine in the production of our customers. We also have a wide range of solutions for the print industry, ranging from label cutting to personalization and large format cutting. And we have clearly identified the importance of software for efficient workflows uh, and profitability. And we are started an initiative to be really on top of this in the coming years. Thank you, Michael. And 
Now, let's, let's go to our second expert, Alexander. Hi, Steffi. Uh, thanks. Uh, as already mentioned, yeah, my name is Alexander Kattner, and uh, I'll be giving you a really just a quick overview of the GLS, uh, GSL 1400. So first of all, starting with my own question, what is a Trotec GSL 1400? The GSL 1400 is a versatile, highly accurate and fast roll to roll laser die cutter for pressure sensitive labels. With this machine, we are addressing the growing demand for short run label production, which does also require a new form of finishing getting mechanical tooling done and investing a lot of time and material to set up a mechanical die cutter just to finish a short or medium run job isn't really what the industry needs these days. This machine, the GSL, is like our other products, cutting and marking digitally, meaning we can do any shape, any size, in any amount, literally with a mouse click. We did design the GSL having the industry needs in mind. It is based on the experience we are having in designing and also manufacturing industrial equipment, engineered to be used in multiple shifts, day in, day out, reliable over years, delivering flexibility and speed, and highest cut quality while still being easy and safe to operate. Thank you, Alex, for this quick overview. I know time is limited, but could you explain a bit more about uh, who a typical customer of the GSL 1400 is? Uh, sure thing. Quite a good question, actually. Uh, typically, we are seeing strong interest from label printers or slash label converters, which already have invested into digital printing technology and which now have the need to finish those shorter run length jobs. That is where our laser die cutting technology fits in just perfectly. Another group of companies which is looking is those companies which are bringing their label production closer to their manufacturing lines. Keyword here clearly, just in time, lean manufacturing. These are companies that decided to print their product labels themselves at the place of application rather than sourcing them from external. They seem to be very interested in such a product as well. Thanks for that. And one more question. Software seems to be a big topic these days. Can you tell us a bit more about the software of the GSL? Indeed, uh, software is a big topic these days. Industry has been trending in that direction since multiple years. Um, and you can't build a good machine and put a crappy software on. In the case of the GSL, we are using our Ruby uh, software platform just as our other machines do. Only the integration at the customer is different. A GSL customer would be looking more into the automation of the workflow rather than creating or editing content on the machine. Ruby is on one hand able to automate the workflow, but it also allows last minute editing but doing so would for a printing company would rather be last resource and preferred options. I guess our customers will very much appreciate the options that we offer to also connect to other systems. And what makes Trotec or the GSL 1400 stand out in this industry? Oh, there, there are a, a long list of things which we could talk about now. Uh, first of all, really our experience with laser technology. We know how a laser works, we understand it, we know all that. Secondly, one of the things which I think is very important in the uh, printing or manufacturing industry, we not only have 70, uh, uh, sales offices in 17 countries, we also have worldwide service. We do have a professional trained service organization, which is there to help our customers in case something goes wrong, or a machine needs maintenance. Very strong point. In terms of the machine, just to add a few smaller items, uh, it has a comparably small footprint if you compare it to other finishing machines. We still have, we do have quite a high machine speed. We can run up to 100 meters per minute and the usability is, is really easy. 
Thank you very much, Alex. Now we come to our third expert, Harald Holzner. So Harald, why would anyone want to expand the business with personalization and promotional items? Thank you, Stephanie. A good question. Personalization is uh, engraving logos, graphics, or names on items like pens, uh, bottles, or other things. Uh, for example, I have a bottle here, so you can see using a laser makes from an ordinary bottle a wonderful item. So these personalized items are perfect supplement for a signage and display campaign. So with your detailed knowledge about the customer style and requirements, it is a small step to offer personalized uh, promotional items suitable for the running campaign. So all this makes it an easy step for you to expand your business with, uh, for the benefit of your customer and yourself. Thank you, Harald. And what is Trotec offering for personalization and promotional items? So Trotec offers a large range of lasers. So you can select a suitable laser depending on size and quantity of products you intend to create. Our lasers are the fastest on the market, offer many options, a large set of tables, lenses, and other accessories. Of course, we support you selecting the best combination suitable for your business to reach the lowest co total cost of ownership. As well as Jotec is a reliable source of approved material. And of course, we support the required parameters for them. And what makes Jotec stand out of the crowd? I think uh, my colleague Michael already mentioned a lot uh, about, as well as Alex. So uh, let's focus on my product range. So our machines are built for commercial industrial use um, with almost 30 years of experience and more than 30,000 units are already worldwide in use of these machines. And most application used for is personalization. So we consider ourselves as partners for our customers throughout the entire life cycle from the first visibility until till the daily life, including support and, and, and so on. So when you operate the Trotec laser, already for signage and display, it's a small step to a Trotec laser for personalization because they're almost identical to use. The size is a bit different. So uh, one point is the, the software is the common base for all our products. And with our new software, Ruby, we go a step forward. Ruby makes your daily work with laser run seamlessly easy, a simple and fast workflow from the idea to product, a platform that guarantees profitable order processing, a setup which is connected, web-based and digital to the core, a user interface to deli that delights. That is Ruby, so that Ruby stands for. So our vision is to redefine working with laser and of all laser users unprecedented added value. Thank you, Harald. Thank you to our experts. And now let's have a look at the questions. So our first question here is, what is the optimum laser power for my application? Uh, Harald, may I direct this question to you? Yes, uh, that's a good question always. Uh, but as always, the answer is not that easy because uh, the laser power is just one parameter. You have to look at the application, the material, and other factors are the speed and the type of application you intend to use. So I want to give you an example. So if you do uh, cutting acrylic, you need a lot of power, but you go slow. In the other hand, if you do engraving, for example, of anodized aluminum for nameplates or other things like that, you usually go very fast and you lose lesser power to reach the perfect outfit, the top performance of the machine, the top results out of it. So in general speaking, um, the faster the machine, the more versatile is, the more power you can uh, use, you more applications you can do. Uh, for example, 
uh, if we talk about fastest, our fastest machine is the speedy 400 with 4.3 meters per second and the 5G acceleration. So if you engrave a plate of 1000 millimeters by 600 millimeters, you can engrave within around 45 minutes, 72 nameplates in a typically smaller size. So that's a, a huge benefit to have a larger machine. You can do more, you have a higher power machine, you can do faster the same job than with a smaller machine. But I'm sure my colleagues like Alex, they know more about this and they'll talk about more about this. <laughs> I for sure do not know more about this than you because I'm the one having it comparably easy. Um, in the GSL, we do have a laser source. You can't change it. The laser source and the Galvo are a fixed combination optimized for high throughput and best cutting quality. We can do this, and that, that's a difference to, and I'm sure that Michael will explain in a second, to the other machines. Our materials, what we are cutting, is always within a certain range of thickness. So I've never seen, let's say, a three millimeter acrylic winded on a 76 millimeter cord simply because it's not possible. So for us, we do have one laser source. We build, we think it's the best you can use, and that's what we have for the moment. I know it's different for you, Michael. Definitely. We have different thicknesses and material types. Um, and in general, you can say the more laser power you have, the faster you can go. Um, and we have a general rule also for the quality. For example, cutting acrylics with a very good edge um, requires about 10 watt per millimeter of thickness. So if you are cutting 15 millimeter of acrylics, we suggest not to use less than 150 watt. If you have even more than that, you are able to cut very good quality at even higher speeds. Um, there are some limitations for uh, certain uh, materials where for example, if you cut thin film with kiss cutting, you need very precise control of your laser power. And the best way is to have a medium to lower power laser tube. So we will help you choosing the right laser power um, depending on your application profile and your budget. Thank you very much. And uh, now I think we have a question with which is best suited to Alex? What is the speed of the GSL 1400? The GSL, uh, GSL can run up to 100 meters per minute. Uh, up to is the important bit because it depends on material, it depends on the shape we are cutting and which configuration you go for. Okay, thank you, Alex. Um, another question is, do I then no longer need a router, knife cutter or a die cutter? Michael? Yes, I can answer about routers and knife cutters. Uh, Alex can say something about the die cutters. Okay. Um, routers and knife cutters are complementary technologies and we have customers who want to have full flexibility of processes and materials, and they use both technologies. But we also have customers who are very happy with having just a laser due to its specific uh, advantages. Um, so it depends a lot on what you want to achieve, what your profile of applications and materials is. And there's no fixed answer to that question. Alex, do you want to add anything? Yeah, I think I can give a, a very good answer, uh, which is it depends. So if you are a full service or full solution label converter and you do have a, a mechanical die cutter, you will still need your mechanical die cutter because of some of the higher volume uh, runs or substrates like PE or PVC. If I'm a customer who is setting up uh, my label production in line in house for my stuff for my needs and the laser cutter does what I need it to do in terms of substrate then it's good as a standalone 
But if somebody already has a, a die cutting machine, I would not fully replace it with the laser. And we have another question. Question substrates that can be used any films. If so, will there be burns on the site? Yeah, I guess that's a question for me as well. Uh, so in terms of substrate, you cannot use vinyls or PVCs. Uh, same goes for LDPE, HDPE might work, but that, that, that needs to be tried. Um, burned edges, something I've seen in the past. Uh, I would say due to our really good focus and a few other things which we've done in the machine or which we're doing in the machine, I'm not seeing so much risk of being of seeing burned edges. For sure, you'll see burned edges because we burn them away, but you won't see them turning too much brownish. I guess that's what the question is about. Um, but this question is so specific, and I know we are running short on time, but I just want to say the person who asked this question, please drop me an email um, so that we can talk in detail about the substrate in question and that we can do some testing. OK, thank you, Alex. So now let's go to the next question. What do I have to pay special attention to when using laser cutting for print applications? I'll take this one again as well. Okay. Uh, so special attention, especially on a GSL, uh, as I mentioned before, so that's partially repeat. Um, you can't use certain substrates, LDPE, vinyls, PVCs. Um, that's pretty much it. You need to make sure that your substrates fits into the machine from a width perspective, but in terms of uh, printing technologies, whatever, we do not or we haven't seen really any, any particular advantages, disadvantages. Um, and before I steal everybody's time and not let Michael add his uh, comments, because I see he already is waiting to comment, I'll hand over to you, Michael. Thank you, Alex. Um, this is a question that we get asked quite frequently. People are afraid of cutting into printed designs, especially from UV printing or screen printing. But there's, I can calm you. Everything's good. Uh, we see very good results when cutting uh, through printed surfaces. Um, you need to make sure that you use the right ink. Um, in combination with your substrate to maintain adhesion, but adhesion on, on different substrates is a general digital printing aspect um, and laser processing does not add additional complexity to it. What is important is that you have a good workflow, a print and cut workflow, where it's easy to um, register or align uh, the printed designs and the cut contour. That can be done in multiple ways with our standard interfaces. Uh, we integrate into, into standard pre-press and RIP systems to make this an easy job and reliable on your production shop floor. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Alex. So we have one more question. What about automation? Is it possible to automate the processes? Who wants to start? I yes, don't. I can start. Um, that's a uh, very hot topic in the print industry. As we just heard that there's a trend to a more web-based operation that the time between order and delivery is becoming more and more important. And automation is one key element to that. Um, we offer multiple um, methods and, and aspects to play a role into automation. On the one hand, we offer standard interfaces to integrate into automated workflows. Um, we also have um, interfaces to analyze what's going on in your machines, in your processes, in your everyday life. Um, and we optimize all of our machines to integrate well into your material workflow, in workflow on your shop floor to make sure that you don't do not have stacks of material uh, laying around and waiting to be processed. Well, our web session is coming to an end now. If there are any open questions we couldn't answer now, please 
join our online uh, join our online demos and also um, the use the uh, virtual Drupal matchmaking tool and take the advantage of talking directly to our experts to find your perfect laser solution together with us. Thank you very much to all participants and our laser experts. And we are really happy if you get in touch with us.